Good morning students. Welcome to English class 8. Today we start with unit 1 supplementary. The woman on platform 8 written by Ruskin Bond. About the author. Ruskin Bond was born on 19th May 1934. He is an award winning Indian author of the British descent. He is much renowned for his role in creating children's books in India. The Indian Council for Children Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in India. He is a short story writer, novelist and poet, the favorite writers of Indian children. His first novel, Room on the Roof, was published when he was still in teenage. He also writes about children and the simple hill folk of Uttarakhand. He received the Satyak Academy Award in 1992 for Art Trees Still Grow in Dehra. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 and Padma Bhushan in 2014. Before we start the lesson, a short introduction on it. In this story, we come to know about the stranger lady whom Arun meets in the railway station. So here the stranger lady was very good and kind, but at the same time, we can't believe all strangers. So this we have to keep it in our mind, that all the strangers are not good. Now let's move on to the lesson, the woman on platform 8. The story starts with Arun of 12 years, waiting for his train scheduled at midnight at Ambala station on platform number 8. He was traveling alone as his parents considered him to be big enough to travel alone. He was early at the station feeling bored. Suddenly a soft voice asked him if he is alone. He saw a woman with pale face and dark kind eyes, simply dressed in a white sari. He observed that she was poor but had a dignity in her appearance. She asked whether his parents have come to see him off. He replied, he can travel alone. The woman agreed which made Arun instantly like her. She was simple and her deep voice and serenity was liked by Arun. Serenity means a feeling of great respect. The woman asked about his name and his train. Then she took him to the canteen. She ordered tea, samosas and jalebis for him. Arun could not refuse her. She questioned many things but listened to him intently. All her kind and generous behavior made Arun forget that she was a stranger. Here Satish, one of Arun's school fellow, came to station with his mother. They introduced each other. The woman addressed herself as Arun's mother without any hesitation. Satish mother warned Arun to be careful of strangers, but Arun replied that he liked stranger with staggered her. Staggered means moved unsteadily. But Satish mother advised Arun that not to talk with stranger. They will put you into trouble. Always listen to what your mother tells you. She said, and never, never talk to strangers. When the train came, they boarded. The woman took Arun's hand in her hands and smiled gently in an understanding way. Goodbye, mother, said Satish. As the train began to move slowly out of the station, Satish and his mother waved to each other. Goodbye, Arun said to the other woman. Goodbye, mother. Arun did not wave or shout but sat still in front of the window, gazing at the woman on the platform. 
Satish's mother was talking to her, but she did not appear to be listening. The woman was looking at Arun. As the train took Arun away, the woman stood there on the busy platform, a pale sweet woman in white, and Arun watched her until was lost in the crowd. So she treated him as a mother, offered him food and spoke firmly to him and she stayed with him till the train leave. So dear children, I hope you all understood the lesson. Not all strangers are as good as the woman in the story. So we soon meet in our next session till that. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you children.